Look, this guy's running. We can't do anything. Look at that hitbox. Maybe I clicked a little late. This guy is traveling across the, the whole world. Don't worry, we have flashed up. Don't worry, we have flashed up. How? Where's my HP? All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are making a little video. It's kind of a continuation from my um, ranking all Game Pass characters video. And we're talking about why Yamamoto is the worst Game Pass character, in my opinion. Uh, let's just do de default skin. So, once again, this is my opinion. But, I, I think he's the worst out of all the Game Pass characters. Especially with the new buffs on Kisuke. Because I think Kisuke was easily uh, uh, second worst. And, um, since Kisuke got buffed, this character is definitely the worst. And, um, once again, this character is not bad. Because... I feel like people will say, I think this character is bad, and I do not think this character is bad. I just think this character is the worst Game Pass character. And uh, the main reason is he can't really combo. It's really as simple as that. He has good individual moves, but none of them work together, which really means he can't combo. And if you can't combo this game, you're just going to die. Because with um, Yamamoto, you're basically relying on hitting three guard breaks. Or landing M1 like three times and then comboing out of it. So let's actually see how many combos. Let's say I guard break them every time. Let's see how many combos it takes to um, fully kill a block uh, block dummy. Okay, so that's one combo. They're still alive. Most characters after landing a guard break can already one shot. Okay. That's two combos. They're still alive. So we've already fully guard broken them two times. And they're still not dead. And flashed up, this is useless in this uh, demonstration. So actually, we're just going to guard break them one more time with our fist. Or our sword. So it, it takes you three combos. You have to land. You either have to either guard break or M1 them three times. To... Uh, Fully kill a block dummy, and that's doing your max combo. That's doing your maximum damage. That's why Yamato is bad. If you're in an actual match, there's no way you're landing three M1s or three guard breaks before your opponent can just one combo you. There, almost every character in the game can one combo, and uh, what's it called? Awakening. I mean, I mean base form, and Yamato is just not doing that, and he just has such a low damage output. And once again, his one is really good. Fast guard break. Fast guard break, but once again, all his skills are just individually good and are not good together. And that's why he's, he's um bad. Let's go into Awakening. Now his Awakening, it's not bad. It's just, once again, everything I'm saying, I don't say bad. I mean, it's not actually bad. It's just the worst out of all of his, uh all of the Game Pass characters. So first of all, Torch, that move has a really like weird hitbox. Your opponent can jump over that easily. Searing Blade, that's blockable pretty easily. And um, his one is a ultimate move, so it takes up all his bar. And it's you're never gonna land that. That does not land at all. So that's like minus one of skill. So the only way you can really deal, you can really start a combo with this character is by using Twisting Flame, and that's blockable. So. Most times, that move works fast enough to, uh, like, land. It's not going to. It's not really going to miss. If, if you just wait for your opponent to unblock, it's not going to miss. And we have to go back into mode again. You can do a lot. You could do a lot of damage with Yamamoto. You, you, you can one combo if they don't block. So, this character's base awakening form is pretty bad. This character's base, all of his moves are individually good, so... Please don't go in a comment saying, well, this move is good, or this move is good, because if you have four good moves, but none of them work together, that's a bad character. So, let's just show some clips of me playing with the Yamamoto, and uh, me losing, probably, because this character is the worst out of all the Game Pass characters. But, it's still, he's still not a bad character. He's not a bad character. 
So, if you want to play him, you can play him. But, if you have this pack, you might as well just play Kiska. And, uh, let's get into the clips. Alright, we're playing against... We're playing against... Time skip Sanji. Time skip Sanji. I don't know why I can't say that. Alright, we first gotta use the moves. Like everybody else does. Okay, I actually landed one there. Wait for him to block. He did not block. But I was playing Lancer. And I got that M1 off. He would have been dead by now. This guy does not know how to block. Look, you see how easily that move was avoided? He literally just walked. He didn't do anything special. He just walked. And I couldn't land my guard break. Still have not guard broken him one time. But this uh, guard break that's supposed to be amazing. Still have not gotten a single guard break off. Alright, we're just going to awaken here. Whoa, okay. He almost didn't die there. I almost just sold the whole match. Torch the wall. I'm using the wrong skill. I actually just messed up that guy so bad. He blocked the first time, so he wasn't going to block the second time. Oh, he iframed it. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we're still alive. Okay, no, we're not. He's literally blocking? What? There's no way this guy can come back. No way. No shot. Yo, where is... He logged. Go crazy. Alright, we're up against... We're up against Lancer. Okay, this is actually a good test. Okay, this guy looks... This one looks the best. Okay, this, guy, this guy's terrible, but okay, this guy's bad. Can we get an opponent that's like actually good at the game? This guy just like walks up and uses his skills. Yeah, this guy does not know how to even how to even walk correctly. Is he glitched? Why is he walking like that? He's not even running. What's the guy doing? Why is he walking like that? My combo? This guy is clearly bad. He's literally letting me like land combos on his moves that have like uh, for example when he, when he lunges at me he should have a free combo after that but he's letting me M1 him in between there. Okay this guy is not very good. We need an actual good opponent. Okay, he he awakened. This guy like is his keyboard broken? Where is my hitbox? Where is the hitbox? Okay, okay, this game. Don't worry, we have flashed up. Don't worry, we have flashed up. Don't worry, we have flashed up. How? Where's my HP? This game. How? 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 He's in the middle of a con I'm in the middle of hitting him. He just used moose. Alright, last match we lost to a Lancer, so I'm a little upset. Okay, this guy kind of looks like a tryhard. Is that lag? Okay, this guy's a tryhard. He's supposed to be a tryhard. Like I, I just, I just need someone that's good at the game. That's playing a fair and balanced character. Okay, I need someone good at the game that plays a fair and balanced character. So we can do an actual test of how good he
is. Not someone running like this. And holding block the whole match. And doing like a 100% true combo. But this even like shows you the power difference. I can land an M1 on him. And uh, I can do like 30%. This Luffy can land an M1. And do... Where did my block go? I mean, my guard break go. This Luffy can land an M1 and deal 100% of my HP. Now, I'm not saying every character has the one combo to be good, but... That's a big power difference. How are people getting out of my combo? Where did my... Okay. See, that guard book is actually trash. It doesn't... It doesn't hit unless they're on the ground. It's never gonna hit a, uh, an opponent that has a space bar on their keyboard. Where are you going with that? This character is actually so bad. It's just like literally frustrating to play this character. You can't do anything. All right, guys, this is the last match I'm playing with this character. Hopefully it's a good one. Um, this character is just, I mean, the only people I can beat are people that don't know how to block. If you know how to block or have space bar on your keyboard, like if you have the F key of the space bar on your keyboard, you literally just win. Okay, we, we played against like all the good characters basically, which is actually what I wanted. Like this guy does not a block, so okay. This is a terrible last match. <sighs> An opponent that does not a block. He's literally using a he's using a character you're supposed to run with. He's just walking. He's trying to one combo. I've actually done this before a lot. So this is actually how you like how our opponent's playing. He's not blocking, and he's running. Well, he's not running, but he's saving his skills. He's just playing cooldowns. No, but he's saving his skills so he can try to one combo. And I do that all the time. It is a very bad habit. Because if you save your skills, you you don't do anything in the whole match until you land an M1. Where are you going? Seems as now he's given up on the one combo life. How did he block that? I thought that was a true combo. Maybe I clicked a little late. This guy is traveling across the, the whole world. I, I, I blocked for like one frame. Alright, we, we didn't get the four stock, but... Yamamoto is only good if you can hold block. I mean, if you can't hold a block. Actually, barrages in this game are so... I'm just now realizing this. They're so good if you get up against the wall. Lancer opened my eyes to this. Um, if you if you hit up if you hit a barrage up against the wall, it'll just get you a free combo. Look, this guy's running. We can't do anything. Look at that hitbox. I mean, this is a... Terrible awakening. That actually hit. Okay, well, GG to this guy, but. Alright, so after playing um, Yamamoto and uh, Red Glummy Ones, this is me after and. I'm even more convinced that he's the worst character out of the 10 that you can buy for game passes. He's, honestly, I wasn't going to say this before, but he's actually a pretty bad character. Like, the only people I can beat are the people that don't know how to block. If, you, if your opponent knows how to block, they can beat you. And, um, yeah, he's just not that good. Um, his guard break misses a lot. I mean, 
it seems auto aim, but as soon as your opponent moves, it misses. Um, his awakening is trash. His this whole play style of you have to land the M1s, but you can't do a one combo. If you want to do a one combo, like I played against that Luffy, if you want to land the M1s, just play time skip Luffy and then just one combo your opponent. Um, so yeah, and also if you haven't played this character. He seems really good in training. He's a character that seems pretty good in training mode. He's not good. And, like, if you haven't played this character, it's hard for you to say whether he's good or not. Don't say he has an auto-aim guard break before playing this character. And, like, a general word of advice for, ranking, for like, uh, saying if a character's good or bad or not. Don't point to him, the character having one good move to the character being good. And, um... You know, that's all I have today. Uh, don't play Yamamoto. Play Kisuke. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.